So I have my sewing thread this time. It may not be as clear in the video, but I'm using sewing thread instead of embroidery floss. Both work great. And again, I'm just gonna follow this line that I've drawn. That's a quarter inch from the edge of the fabric. I like to remove my pins as I'm stitching. That way, the when I'm pulling the thread through, it doesn't get caught in the head of any of the pins and less likely to knot and tangle. If I can figure out video editing, I'll have this part fast forward. Otherwise, <laughs> you can probably fast forward the video. So with my non-stitching hand, I'm holding my fabric between my first finger, my middle finger, my thumb, and um, pressing down on it this way. That way I'm holding it nice and tight, but I wanna just keep the tension even as I go in and out with my hands. It can get caught on the pin if you leave them in, but since I haven't stitched this part, I'm going to keep the pin in and try to be more careful about how I pull through. The thread didn't pull through evenly there, so I'm just going to use my needle to even it out. So I want it to be nice and even. That was a teeny stitch that I just did too. If your stitches are more even, I think you'll be happier with your finished product. It's okay to have more than just a couple in like have more than an inch or more than two inches when you cut the end of your thread. It's, as long as it's it's easier to tie a knot if your thread's a little bit longer.
that didn't take too long. Six minutes, that's not too bad to sew up one, one side of the curve. Great, so now I have my front piece fully sewn. You can check to see if there's any big gapes or gaps when I kind of pull it, tug it a little bit. And I have my inside piece also fully sewn. That looks really good. So our, that looks really, really good. 